Hi, I want to talk to you today about two things. Uh, one is the cut of your clothes and uh, two is um, the old argument, store-bought versus bespoke. Uh, Custom-made, buy tailor, just for you. So, um, first the cut of your clothes. Uh, this issue has come to, uh, to light for me recently. Not that I wasn't aware of it before, but it, it, uh, it is very pertinent to me nowadays because I've put on some weight. Not, uh, not here, uh -huh, but uh, here, in my chest, my back, my arms, actually my legs as well. And uh, what this means is that uh, while my clothes have been able to hide this, this increase in weight fairly well, because the cut was nice, it was conservative, but the tailor knew what he was doing, uh, it's now gotten to the point where my clothes are starting to not fit me very well. And it's pretty soon I'm going to have to get new clothes. Um, so why is this important? Uh, well, again, if I haven't made it clear in the preceding uh, things that I've said, a cut is really, really important. A good cut is really, really important because it will be able to accommodate an increase or decrease in body weight. The clothes will still look good on you, um, even though you may drop in weight or you may add some weight up to a certain point. And how good a cut that is determines how much weight you can put on or, or take off without the clothes looking silly on you, without them no longer being comfortable or without you no longer feeling comfortable and in your own skin when you're wearing them. Um, and on that same issue, there's something to be said about these silly, slim cut clothes of today. This is just a fad. I mean, you see everybody on the street wearing these slim pants and these slim coats that, that are really tight around the waist and really tight on the arms and the shoulders. And they feel like they're bursting on them already. Um, when you buy something like that, what that means is that you will not be able to put on any weight or take off any weight uh, without it showing right away in your clothes. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, that's a waste of money. You've just paid good money for some clothes that will not be able to accommodate the fluctuations in body weight that a normal person may go through. You know, you may add on a couple pounds, take off a couple pounds. You may not even notice it if you don't step on the scale, but your clothes will be the telltale sign of, of that. And so either your buttons will be flying off um, because they're, they're too tight on you or um, you'll be swimming in them. So that's why I think slimline clothes, these slim cut clothes are, are, are so silly. Not only do they look silly, but they're not comfortable to wear. You can't move freely in them and they won't be able to hide any fluctuations in weight that you might go through. So this is why I always say, I always advise people, go for conservative cut clothes, go for a conservative look, uh, a well-made conservative suit or coat um, will be able to be worn um, years down the road. You can put it in your closet and take it out years later and still wear it and, and not feel ashamed of it. Whereas with uh, these silly fads, a few years down the road, if you try to wear one of these coats, people will laugh at you. So um, don't go for them. So let me just give you a few examples out of my own closet uh, about what I'm talking about here. Um, this coat that I'm wearing, you may already see that it's fairly tight on me. I mean, you can see the line here going back to toward my shoulders and toward my back. It's, it's already pulling. My chest is already pulling on this and feels a little tight. Um, also, the sleeves are tight. I can barely do this. It just it doesn't feel comfortable. It's, it's pulling everywhere. Um, and if I were to bend to the floor to try to pick up something heavy, I'd be afraid of splitting it at the seams in the back. So pretty soon I'm going to have to give this up even though it's my favorite coat. But again, being a, being a conservatively made uh, coat, I can take it out of my closet years down the road if I ever get back to my current to, to, to what used to be my current weight, 100, 160, 155 pounds or so, um, and, and wear it just fine, um, which is no longer the case now. So, that's one example. Here's another. Uh, this is one of my favorite winter coats. I can no longer wear this. 
I mean, it, it used to fit me. It can still sort of fit me here at uh, at the buttons, but with the sleeves, it's even worse than this one um, because the sleeves were made a little tighter than uh, this one. I can't even bend them uh, past this point. It just doesn't work. So this I'm gonna have to give up as well. Let's see what else. Uh, these two coats, I tried them on this morning when I when I uh, when I saw this, and, and sure enough, this one doesn't fit me. This one doesn't fit me either. Um, what else is there? Let's see. I've got a few shirts that are no longer fitting well. Uh, this one, for example, doesn't work anymore. And I've got a few more I haven't bothered to look, but um, um, there's a few vests that no longer fit me. Uh, this is one of them. I'm going to actually put it on for you in just a bit and show you. Uh, but uh, you see, that's what happens. So well-made clothes will be able to accommodate an increase or a decrease in body weight up to a certain point. And then you'll have to get new clothes, which is my case. So in a month or two, I'm going to have to go get measured for uh, new suits which will probably last me if I continue at this rate of growth in my uh, body mass, will probably last me six to eight months or so. And after that, I'll, I may need to get new clothes again. The hazards of the job, what can I say? Um, so that's, that's my little spiel on, uh, on the cut of your clothes. Now, as for uh, custom-made uh, or bespoke clothes versus uh, store-bought clothes, I can tell you this, from my own experience, I've the choice has been pretty simple for me. Whenever I had clothes custom made for me, they fit me well, they lasted a long time, I was happy with them. Whenever I bought store uh, clothes, uh, or suits rather, not just normal clothes, whenever I bought suits at the store, they didn't fit me well, even when altered, they didn't fit me well, and so in the end I was never happy with them, didn't like wearing them, wasn't comfortable wearing them, and so they just ended up sitting in my closet and then getting thrown away. So, I started uh, only buying custom-made clothes a couple of years back, and I think it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. Uh, because when I go to the store to buy a suit, if I, I have two choices, right? I can buy a suit that fits me around the shoulders and in the arms, and then it's going to be really, really large at the waist, and the pants are also going to be really large at the waist. And so I'm going to have to have that altered, and it's never going to look good or feel good. Uh, choice number two for me is to uh, buy a suit that fits me at the waist, the pants fit me well, but then it won't fit me at the shoulders, and there's no way to alter it um, based on its constraints about the, the, the amount of cloth left at the seams to let it fit my shoulders properly. And so if I buy one of those coats, sooner or later it's going to burst at the shoulders because it's too tight on me. And so I've never been able to buy a, a suit from the store that fits me well, even when they were called the so-called athletic suits or uh, athletic fit, uh, it just did not work for me. Uh, let me just give you a couple of examples I have right here in my closet. I still keep these around, but I don't wear them just because they don't fit me well. I liked this coat when I, when I bought it, it was one of those coats that fit me well at the shoulders, but was really large at the waist, and so I had it altered. It looks silly, feels silly when I wear it, and so it sits in my closet. And it's a shame too, because the material is quality, the lining is quality, it's a well-made coat, but I can't wear it. Here's another coat. Same story, fit me well around the shoulders, was too thick at the waist, had it altered, now it's no longer good. It wasn't good before anyway, but yeah, so I loved it, I love the material, I love how well made it is, but it, it just doesn't work for me. And so it sits in my closet. So what can I tell you? I mean, it's, 
it's your choice really. If you have a more regular build and you go to the store and you find something that fits you well, wonderful. You've just saved yourself a bundle of money. If you go to the store and uh, you look for clothes and you just aren't able to find stuff that fits you, for goodness sake, go find a tailor. You may need to go look for months, but look for months and find a good tailor where you can get a well-made suit made just to your body uh, at a decent price. Um, I know in the States they can be expensive, custom-made suits. Thank goodness I don't have to shop in the States for custom-made suits. I live in Romania these days. But uh, yeah, I've heard they can go up to like $1,400, $1,500 or more. But then again, some store-bought suits, like Italian suits, also go for that kind of money. So if you're going to pay that much for a store-bought suit, might as well go get it made just for you. Um, in Romania, where I live, I'm fortunate enough that in our town, there's a tailor. And he knows how to make men's clothes pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with the results and his prices are affordable by my standards. It may not be affordable by Romanian standards, but that's another issue altogether. Um, and so, if I were to translate the prices I'm paying for a, a custom-made suit here in Romania into dollars, when I take into consideration the price of the cloth as well, because I do go to a warehouse to buy really high quality cloth, which I also get at a special price. Again, we're fortunate enough to live where we live. Uh, this is cloth brought over from Italy. It's 100% wool. It's wonderful. Um, and so anyway, I would say it's about... What is it, Ligia? Is it uh, about $200? 200 to $250 for a suit altogether, which is not bad. Um, not bad at all. So, um, that may not be the price you're paying but it's a price I'm paying, what can I do? So again, look for a tailor. I mean, you may be able to find a tailor in your town in the States if you don't live in, in a big metropolis. They can still make a suit for you at $300, $400, even $500 is a good price if you can get a really nice suit um, out of it. But look for one. Uh, here in Romania, the prices are really nice where we live, but if you go to Bucharest, the capital of the country, they're terrible. I mean, the prices are the same as in Western Europe. I mean, you think these people were living in Vienna or, 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 uh, or Paris uh, the, the, when you look at the prices they're charging for suits. And so I wouldn't buy a suit in Bucharest. Forget it. Uh, just because it's the same quality as a suit that I, get, that I can get here. And I'd be overpaying for the cloth and I'd be overpaying for the labor. So why bother? Um, and that's where it pays off to look. Look for a tailor. And what, what if you have to go to a town that's about an hour away or two hours away from where you live? If you can find a tailor there that can make a suit for you at a decent price, go. Go and, and give that guy your business, you know? Uh, certainly the suits, um, there's a wide variety in the way the suits are made. Um, I'll tell you right now, there's a, a, a big difference that escalates the price in suits is whether they're sewn or whether they're glued together. Um, most suits are glued together and that's why you have to, uh, not only that, but that's one of the reasons you have to, uh, to dry clean them. Of course, if they're also made of wool, then you have to dry clean them, otherwise the material will shrink and the suit won't be good anymore. But they're glued together. This makes them much easier to, to, to make, uh, makes the whole process quicker, much, much quicker. Uh, there's less labor, uh, less labor involved. Um, but if you want a traditional man's uh, suit uh, that's sewn together, where all the layers are actually sewn together, that's much more labor intensive. And uh, be prepared to pay a lot more for that as well. Um, I could go into great detail, but I think I'd rather talk about that in a different video. I don't pretend to be an expert on suits. By all means, I mean, this is, I'm learning as I, as I make these videos. Uh, with each day I learn new things and uh, I share them with you. So, um, in the future I will make a video about suits and the differences in, in how they're made and why it's worth paying more for, for certain suits and certain features on suits and uh, why some aren't worth that much. At this point I don't feel comfortable enough talking about that to, to will give you advice. Let's put it that way. 
but certainly that's the big difference, you know, glued versus sewn. So if you get a suit that's uh, glued together, um, where the three layers of cloth, you know, you have the interior, the lining, right? Let me show you. So you've got the lining here, right? Most often made from acetate because it, it's very slippery and it slides over your shirt or your jersey quite well. And then you have the inner layer uh, and then you have the outer layer. They are uh, glued together. More specifically, the middle and the outer layer glued together. The acetate usually is, is free-flowing. Um, so, um, yeah. That's what makes a suit easier to make and, and lowers the price. So, again, that's, that's what I have to say about uh, store-bought versus uh, custom-made. Go for custom-made if you can. Look for a good tailor. Look for good cloth. Here, let me just show you a small sample of the cloth that we've accumulated here at home, um, just so we can make suits in the future. So, here is but a tiny, tiny representation of what we have here at home. Really, we have like a store a store's worth of, of, of cloth that we've bought. I and mean, we can't resist. We're like kids in a candy store, my wife and I. We go to this warehouse and we see all these amazing cloths and we just have to have, have, to have them. And so we buy them and they're sitting here in our closet waiting to be made into clothes. So, if you can do this in your town, if you have a warehouse where they sell a really nice cloth, um, at decent prices. Go and stock up by all means. Go look for the stuff you want, stock up on it, because you never know when you might find it again. Um, and again, look for um, conservative fabrics. High quality conservative stuff, not flashy weird stuff with strange patterns like the, uh, the fad these days is with um, I forget the name of it, but it's all those silly squares on them. Uh, the plaid, that's it. I think it's Plaid is what it's called, uh, or tartan uh, fabrics. Um, they look good on the Scots. They look great on their little skirts and their um, other wear, and uh, they look nice in, in golf clothes. But come on, plaid everywhere, even on, on, on normal everyday suits, it drives me bonkers. I can't stand it. So, um, you know, I wouldn't be able to wear stuff, uh, stuff like that. And, and believe me, a few years down the road from now, when this plaid fad is going to disappear, you're going to look pretty silly in, 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 a suit if you've, in a suit that you've made with that sort of cloth. So go for conservative stuff, you know. Here's a nice gray wool. This will last you a long time. Um, here's a beautiful cloth for a cold weather coat here just great this is thick wool high quality stuff I'm looking for stuff to show you <laughs> here's a cashmere beautiful this is always in style it's it's a uh, it's a solid fabric a solid color and so it's always going to be in style um, about this herringbone pattern. If you want to go for a pattern, go for this sort of stuff. This is always going to be in style. It's not too flashy. It provides enough texture and enough lines to to give you a, a, a break from the regular solid fabrics if you're tired of them. But it'll still be in fashion a few years down the road. So, try to heed my advice, if you can. And I hope this has been helpful to you. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.